years ago, before Archbishop Idaosa passed on to glory, he told his disciples, that when I die, I would like everyone to know that I was a man of faith, that I walked by faith and not by sight. So he told everyone that when I die, they should write on my grave. My gravestone should have the inscription, man of faith. Just like you had the people in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, he wanted his name to be among those lists of persons who trusted God and got results from it. And so we saw it real happening live. One day, we had a situation where there was this cripple out there in the front row on a wheelchair. And the Archbishop was just speaking. And all of a sudden stopped and pointed at the woman and said, you, come here. And the woman looking towards him, he said, yes, you, come here. The lady got up and started walking. The whole crowd went agog. When the meeting was done, we were at home one day. And I was asking him, Daddy, how come you never prayed for that woman? You only said, come here. And he smiled. He said, many times when it happens like that, God would have told me, Benson, I've healed that woman that is still on the wheelchair, but she doesn't know it. So tell her to get up. So what I do is I just follow what God is saying. Like the book of Hebrews says in Hebrews chapter 4, that those who, who believe in Jesus Christ have ceased from their labor because all that is accomplished in them has been accomplished before the foundation of the world. Which means that all that we see being done right now has been done. What a joy to know that. When we hear from God before we act, we will not need to sweat in the place of prayer. That cripple got up and began to walk. The whole crowd was shouting. Idaosa was in surprise because it has first been announced to him that that woman had been healed. Now, what does this tell us? It tells us that we must be attentive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. We must learn to go the distance God had already gone ahead of us. Rather than try to create our own wave, we should flow with the wave of God. I hope today helps you. This is Idaosa Day, and I remain your friend, Victor Atalaga. God bless you.